welcome to the Beetle Garage. Today we are checking Goliathus radius, substrate change, uh, checking the weight and everything uh, because it's day 100 in the life of these uh, larvas of the biggest flower beetle uh, of Africa and we will see what happened the last two weeks when they were away at my friend's place Benjamin Horing cared for them. So what did we do? First I had to construct a uh, breeding rearing box for them and I will show what I did because this is a pretty simple thing that you can rebuild if you want to um, rear larvas that should have 26 degrees that's not often possible uh, inside a house where people live so I constructed this styropore box a very simple thing with a, with a temperature sensor here on it, I can program uh, it and the sensor, of course, it is inside this styropore box. Uh, I can probably take it, uh, show you like it is inside the box here. So, of course, here are my larvas, I can take them out now so that we can have a look inside of the box afterwards. That's the temperature now. It's, it's more than 20 six degrees it's about 28 now but probably that is because it was on the most uh, top uh, position in the box and sometimes there is a, a, a temperature change within uh, the box also so I take out all the larvas now put them here on it and then afterwards we will have a look how it here's the temperature sensor that's a, a professional uh, thing that just takes the temperature at the place where the sensor is positioned. And now, there's the last one here. So we still have these small boxes. Um, probably now we will see that the larvas are really big and we have to think about whether we should change the size of the box or not so that's another question now we're coming close to the inner side of the box so that you can see here uh, actually what happens here I position two strips of styropore just to prevent the boxes coming to that heat um, mat here it's just a two watt heat mat for reptilia or whatever uh, you have and then I position the two two strips of styropore just before them so that when I put the boxes in they do not touch the heat um, field here otherwise they would heat up too high so that's and then there's only two openings what one one is here on this side for the air and one is on the other side for the air and then of course the heat mat it's plugged into the adapter of the thermostat. That's all that costs you about $50 or so. Uh, it's a really functioning thing. We used it now for the last two weeks and also Benjamin reported that everything was okay. Temperature was always in the range that it should be. So you can rebuild this kind of thing easily for the place inside your house. Of course, you cannot have too big containers then otherwise they have not enough space inside one style of poor box but you have to probably put together three or four that's also an easy stuff to make so now we start the interesting work here um, checking through all the boxes of our Goriatus regius and I'm really curious also what happens here as you know we make our bookkeeping here so that uh, later on we can uh, check the curve of the of the weight gain of each of the larvae. Yeah, and of course now we have to check also how much how much uh, food pellets uh, we find unused in the substrate. We make the nose test whether it smells like the cage of a lion or uh, it's still a normal smell of a mixture of sand and peat as it should be and then if we decide to change the substrate we clean the box we clean the larva and all that stuff that you already know 
from the last videos. Oh, I have to say something. Yesterday there was the big insect fair in Kloten, Switzerland. A lot of friends we met there. It's a really interesting scene. Um, growing now, I believe, I've seen so many young people with specimen boxes for insects collecting their first uh, samples for the specimen box. Also young people um, uh, looking for larvas and, and beetles. So I really believe that in, compared to the last years uh, it would be that there's a new generation of entomologists coming. That would be great because we need them um, for the big task uh, of inventing a new agriculture uh, with uh, insects as beneficial organisms. So, uh, now I have to prepare a box just to see what I have here. So let's start with one larva. I will have a look here what it is. Oh, number one. Yeah. So this one has a lot of has used an, a lot of, of pellets. So let's see what we find here and in what kind of stage the larva is. We have to also check whether ah, great, yeah, whether the substrate is good enough. Yeah, that's great. It's wet. This does not a bad smell. I we have to I will like to clean the larva a little bit so that we can see what happens to her. If she's okay, there's some mites on it. I see that this one we have to probably make a treatment against the mites. because uh, that could be, uh, in the long run, could be a problem for them. So probably this one, I will see whether we can put her in a box with uh, dried leaves so that the mites fall off. So this has a lot of mites here. Let's, um, let's see whether she gains some weight now. She's not too big here, this larva, number six, so I think She's now 22 grams, number 6, 22 grams with mites. This we have to check uh, later, but now I just, I think, because there are mites here, I take, I, I put away the whole substrate, I clean out the, I clean out the box here then I add the new substrate the, it's the same quality as always that I told you before it's the same quality since the beginning of this rearing process so there's no other things added here than the, the same material that was here already when we started to rear the larvas so that's it. Now for this time I put her back and I have to check later how we can do something against the mites on the body. Also the leaf. We clean. And we will too whether we see this mite problem for all of the larvas. Then we prepare something, but that would be probably the next uh, step then. So that's number uh, six. There's no pellets left here for the number six. It's 22. grams. So I would guess it would be good to start with three pellets for every for every second day. That's it. And then we go on. Number two, oh, this is an old one, and here 26, so she, she has eaten 
five pallets, four between five, four and five pallets uh, every day. She was 29 grams uh, two weeks ago. So let's see what happens here. What we find. Let's find something nice here. The lower is okay. Smells still good. Also here we see some mites on the on the foot pellets. So the larva has grown, but I see you see this is um, it's pretty nice. Also this larva has some mites on the body. So probably the substrate is a little bit too humid and we have to reduce probably the humidity a little bit in that substrate. So I think we see it much a little bit better like this, huh? but it's a nice larva, let's see whether she has gained some weight, now she's 33.5 grams, she has gained 4 grams, 33.5, it's number 2. Huh? Uh, I still see the L one. Ah, here it is. Okay, 33. Yeah, she gained four, a little bit more than four grams. So we still stay with five pellets a day. And this is number two. Huh? So that's what we do. Also, the, ah, I forgot to clean this. But this. Yeah, sometimes you see on little uh, rest of the pellets you can see mites crawling and uh, moving with the whole little piece of of food that is left in the substrate so I will change the substrate here I mean we have enough substrate we can, it's not a problem to change that every time and also I think for the larva it's nice to have a new bed to live in and this time I try to keep it a little bit more dry than before so that the larva can that's 33.4 grams otherwise this looks great put that in here we put four pellets, one, two, three, four. I put a new label on it, yeah. And cleaning also the lid. So that's it, number, set, number two, huh? And then we go on. Yes, uh, we. This can last some time, as you know, because it's uh, yeah, it's an ace of work we have to do seriously. So this is coleotus. Oh, this is for wrong etiquette. So I also a label. I always have see for the, the oh, here it is. Okay, so this has eaten a lot. Seven pellets, six between six and seven pellets a day. It was 22.15 grams two weeks ago. Let's see. Yeah, slight smell like the cage of a lion. So here it is the Laura. Massage with, uh, with the brush. <laughs> so this has not a lot of mites on the body. Also, you see it especially in the on the spiracles. Now, if they are covered, that could be dangerous for the larvas. But this uh, looks uh, great. Now let's see whether she has gained some weight. Also, Tara. 29.95, yes, that's good. 
So I forgot to write it 33.5. Now this is number number 20. 29. We are 30 grams. No mites. So but anyway I clean out the, the box. I add new substrate throw away the old one I mean the old substrate with the sand you can easily use in the garden that's uh, no problem for the plants or the soil it makes it a little bit more um, the water can run through it a little bit better than in a in a loamy soil so now this also goes back 30 grams for this we start with four pellets uh, here if we had no problem with the mite we can add some sprays of water in one edge so and we have to prepare it's number number 20 it was 30 grams and we go on with six pellets like this okay so now we check uh, one of the smaller boxes here was number 16 let's see what she is has eaten also six pellets she was 18.35 grams two weeks ago so let's see what happens here what we find yeah slight smell Not bad. Mites here on the spots you can see on the head. You can see uh, this seems to be a problem here also. For this larva we have to prepare for a mite uh, for, to help them. Uh, remove the mites, but these are we don't know it exactly, but I guess they are not dangerous for the larva 23 point So this can how much? 23.05 Is number 16 so she gained Yeah, five grams. That's not bad. Right, I will change the substrate also here because of the mites. So then if we change it, there's some new material here without mites because they can live and, and uh, reproduce only on the cat food pellets and they have very quick um, reproduction rates, the mites. So that's why they can sometimes like explode if there's too much food. Uh, in the substrate. So here we go back with this larva. Uh, we put in four for the beginning. And of course I write that it's mites here. And I know later which uh, boxes I have to uh, check especially. And I would I show you the biggest one that we had the last time. It was 37.49 grams. It ate eight pellets every two days, so that's about one gram a day. Seems to be not a problem here with the smell, so that's probably not so many. Wow, yeah, that's a pretty big one. So look at this. Also here we have some mites on the body, not many.
brush massage I think this is the biggest now that we have at the moment well, let's see what we find on the weight scale they are easily now they, they are not very thin, not very aggressive because they are fat and have eaten a lot so this is 46.5 grams 46.5 grams oh it's number three huh? looks great probably I for the bigger one I will change in this uh, dimension of a, of a box then but this seems really nice I think I do not change it there's one pellet here that is not eaten and one pellet here probably that is not eaten but uh, it seems okay and also yeah there's not many pellets here in the substrate so why change them if she's growing like this? It was the biggest last time already. Now it has gained 10 grams in two weeks. Yeah, 10 grams from, what did, what did I say? From 37.49 to 9 grams to 46.5 grams. So that's a really big leap. Two, four... Uh, six so this is really hungry and we will keep her in that substrate so that's the biggest at the moment 46 grams after 100 uh, days so that's the job that I do now with all of the of the boxes very carefully check through and see which one have or could have a problem with the mites then we have to decide later what we do with them to remove the mites on the body as you go back or go in the search function of YouTube now or with the title of mites removing mites from Goliathus larvas you will find a, a, a video here about how you can easily remove the mites from the body of a larva in two days so um, just check it, There's the video is still there and it's still the best thing I can offer to you. It's without chemicals, nothing, just very dry leaves. You put the larva in for two days, there's no mite on the body anymore. They fall off and dry uh, and are dead afterwards. So next one is this one here. So Benjamin did a great work, I have to say. So this larva, I mean nine grams in two weeks, that's a huge uh, the development of the larva in the last two weeks, thanks to the care of my good friend Benjamin. So let's see what we have here. This was um, 16.4 grams, it's number seven. It ate between four, four, five, four, five, four, between four and five cat food pellets each day we will see what is with this larva here also here we have a lot of mites there's a really a mite problem here yeah this also now you here you can see there are mites are on the spiracles also on the head um, so this one probably has a, uh, has a serious problem with it so this also it seems it it's uh, it's not growing also 16.5 this is not 16 grams anymore so it probably has a serious problem here we have to check what it could be let's see 17.1 yeah very little weight gain for this larva I will have to change substrate and then of course uh, we have to prepare the box for the mite removal for the larva um, yeah I will do that I will do that here and um, yeah for I'm away for the next two weeks again the larva again they go back to Benjamin now <laughs> I'm really happy I have my larva Uncle Benjamin, who's caring for the 
for the kids while I'm away. And then we, we will see in two weeks what happens to them. And probably then we are around 50 grams or something like that. Uh, that could be a mo the moment where they probably, one of them or two of them already start to pupate. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the others, um, how they developed, go to the German playlist of Goliathus Regius. You will see the boxes uh, and the models there. Thanks. <laughs>